Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6Gaming coming to you from Tutorial Land where we are doing some tutorial stuff. And guys, today we are going to be working on this super easy password door. This one's only six levers, but honestly, I'm going to make it bigger when I do the tutorial just to show you how simple and basic it is. So for this one here, guys, it's uh, password is 136. Bang, door opens, ready to go. You could hook this up to a Jeb door, any door, but basically if you were to hit any other lever and not have the exact password it would turn off so uh, let's go ahead and turn all of them off and it doesn't work so again the wrong code is not gonna work for you you need to do one three six and it is as simple as that guys this can be fully expandable and believe me pretty much one of the simplest tutorials there is I think for this one guys uh, again you can hook this up to a Jeb door any door you want we're just using this one for uh, you know poops and giggles right now but uh, yeah, so for this one, let's go brave, you know, 413 likes. If you are one of the first 413 people to like this video, let me know which one you are in the comments below, and you could be cool like Legend. Legend was 571. Uh, maybe not Notification Squad, I'm not sure, but if you don't have time to comment, that's okay. Just go ahead and subscribe. If you subscribe, you can get a shout out like Messi, Polika. Orc and Zandeth. I hope I pronounced those right. I don't know if I did, but uh, yeah, grab yourself some stuff. We're just going to build one right up here in front of this thing. Uh, for this build, I'm going to tell you what you need. This is what you need for, say, six, um, but I'm going to make it much bigger because once you see how simple it is, you're probably going to want to have a nice elaborate code. So for six, you're going to need four redstone torches, six levers. Just bring a half a stack of blocks and bring a half a stack of redstone. Depending on the size, you're going to need the extra redstone. Uh, three signs, one door, you know, if you wanted to throw six item frames in there as well no one will blame you for it so have your wall have it at least three high so basically we're just gonna we're gonna make it however big this is because this is how easy it is and man super easy so we got our three high wall so basically let's put our levers wherever we want them so let's say we're gonna want our door right there sounds good let's go ahead and put tons let's let's Ooh. This is uh, four, five, six, seven. Let's make a 16 lever jobber. This is how easy it is. So we got 16 lever passwords. So let's go ahead and set up what we're gonna do in the back. So basically let's grab our door. You know, we're gonna need a door. Why not grab a door? Uh, we don't need levers anymore, so that's good. Let's put our door right here. Okay, so we wanna make this door open with a code. So let's just jump to the back and basically all you gotta do is find where your levers are and put a two two wide row in between the levers so i'm not sure how far we go far back there and then do this again so easy and simple guys so now all you have to do from this point forward is go ahead and put a torch on whatever you want your code to be so let's say we want our code to be every second one so one three five seven so one, three, five, seven. Then let's go back to the beginning and say that this is the start here. So this is eight. So one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. <laughs> Literally just do this on every second one. So we know every second one is what we want. Uh, go up here. Now fill this whole thing in with redstone. Everyone that doesn't have a torch, fill it up. They're all going to light up and that's good. That's exactly what you want. And do the same thing on the bottom. Again, I'm making it really big just to show you how easy it is. Uh, we can put a redstone there as well because this is what's going to lock the door. So it doesn't go there. So once we've done this, all we're going to do is put a block in the middle here somewhere to bring our redstone signal down. The redstone signal down, make sure it joins this guy right here and then bust a hole out and bring down your two wide all the way to the door. Once we've gotten to the door, we're good. What we're gonna wanna do is, we're gonna have to bust this door out actually for a sec. Go ahead and put a block one away from the door like this. Go ahead and throw that last odd numbered redstone torch under your door. Again, this could be a Jeb door. You know, this could be the input of a Jeb door if you really wanted to. And then run your redstone all the way to it. Once you make sure that every single piece of redstone is uh, hunky-dory, go ahead and throw your block back. Let's go throw a door on top of it. And yeah, so basically your door is working now. This is as easy as it is, guys. We did make it super huge. So now 
if we want our door to work, what did we do? Our code? Every second one, right? There, there, there. Then we went back to the beginning. And on the beginning one, we skipped one, put it there, there. Nope, that's, yep, that's right. There, and guess what's gonna happen when we hit this one? Looks like we hit a wrong code here. Oh, we did it one off on the bottom. So on the bottom, our code is gonna be the very first one. So that's what we did wrong. So let's fix this. And the bottom is gonna be uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. And there you go, door open. So the best way to do this one is to do your sign. So we know that this is one to eight. So this one here is gonna be one and nine. So the best way to make the signs is to go in here, one, Go in, make it nine. I think maybe for argument's sake, I wouldn't have made it as big, but you know what? It works, guys. That's the whole point. This is going to be two, and this one here is going to be ten. This one here is three and eleven. I think we got time. You know how fast this tutorial was? We're less than six minutes, so let's just keep going and make it look pretty. Uh, eleven, done done this is gonna be 4 and 12 but you could you could elaborately make this I've made it odd like a really easy number to remember but this could be a very complex code uh, 4 and 12 this one here 5 and 13 put this guy here done this one here, six and 14. And you can make it look pretty too. I think that's kind of the goal of this one, but I was mostly excited about just how easy it is, right? This basic, very simple, seven fifteen. Put this guy here, seven fifteen. Done, done. Six and six and eight and 16. Eight and 16. Done. So as you can see, our code for this door is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Again, just put a torch on any number you want to be part of the code. So again, if you were to hit a switch on any of the numbers that aren't part of the code, guess what happens? Door closes because it powers the signal. So very easy, very easy build. Again, look how elaborate you could make it. I've made a password door like this before, but it was actually a little more difficult, I think, for just one row of numbers. But go ahead and throw, you know, item frames on there if you really want to make it look good. And yeah, I thought this was a super cool, like it really does win for like just straight simplicity. You can make a huge one. I bet you. I bet you there's people that are going to go out there and make like the most monstrous one ever. Um, but I think it looks sharp. I think you can hook this up very easily. You know how a Jeb door needs the power to keep it closed? Uh, well, yeah, perfect. This sets up perfectly. And again, any wrong move and the door closes. There you go, guys. Don't forget to smash the like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh, some more cool tutorials, let's plays, and uh, yeah tutorials if I didn't say that already. Catch you guys on the next one.